Okay, so today we're going to do a zebra from the continent of Africa, but we're going to kind of make it our own. And we're also doing it from kind of a cool perspective. So we're looking from the back of the zebra. Kind of a different way to look at a zebra, huh? Mm -hmm. Usually you have. Okay, so um, let's do it. We need a permanent marker, one that will resist water. And you need water, watercolor, and paintbrush. Got it? All right, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is with our permanent marker, and if you prefer to do this with pencil first and then go over your line, you can. We're just going to go straight for the permanent here. So in the middle of the page, we're going to do an upside down U. Pretty big. It's going to cover the inside, so almost most of the inside. Upside down U. So that's this part, the rump, the hind, if you will. Now we're going to bring that U in just a little bit and down as if it's going off the page. Watch me. Here we go. I'm going to come in, curve in just a little bit, and then straight down off the page. And then I'm going to curve. make sure you curve in a little bit, and then straight down off the page. Good. So you want it to be wider on the top than it is down below. Okay, so now as close to the middle of this figure that you've made as you can, you're going to put the tail, okay, the tail of the zebra. So I'm going to go right into the middle and I'm going to draw two lines for where I'm going to start my tail. Two, two little dot lines right in the middle. There you go. And what we're going to do is the tail is going to get thinner and thinner and it's going to get to the end and then zigzag. So I'm going to come in and in two lines, almost touching, but not quite, right? And then at the bottom of that, I'm just gonna make some zigzag lines. The end of the tail. Okay. Perfect. Now we're gonna draw the legs, okay? So the legs are gonna start on either side of the tail, probably right about the part where the U started to curve in. So right about there, it's good to like make a little line, like a little Mark, so you know that you're going to start it on the same side. So you would want to go right about here and here. So you're going to start, okay? So watch. I'm going to take it right from that tail, and I'm going to start to make a diagonal line towards the outside of the leg. And then when it gets pretty thin, I'm just going to go straight down off the page. And I like to make a little mark for where the knees are. And then go right straight down. Good, Brady. Perfect. And then same thing there, and then straight. Perfect. Do the same thing on both sides. You guys went ahead and did it perfectly. You didn't even need any more instruction. Okay, so you all have like a really good looking rear end. I would move this up just a little bit more. Tail's gonna start a little bit higher up like that, okay? All right, so now we gotta put the neck on, right? So there's a portion of this zebra that you can't see. So you have to use your imagination here. So we're gonna start, we're gonna make almost a triangle shape here, okay? So I'm gonna go from the center of that tail, I'm gonna go up and make a little mark on its back for my starting point. I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see. And then I'm gonna go over about, about two inches right at the side of it and make another mark. So yours would be, let's see, if you put that one here, we're just gonna go right about here. Okay, see these two marks? Now we're gonna go up and make almost a triangle and we're gonna stop. So I'm gonna make a diagonal line that's gonna go up here and then stop. And then do the same thing here. And it's gonna get pretty close to touching. It's almost like a giraffe right now, huh? Good. Okay, now from there we're gonna put the ear that is closest to us, okay? So I'm going to put two straight lines right there. Two straight lines, up and up. And then they should be parallel at this point, meaning they should be even, OK? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put like a sideways circle. Some people call it noble, right there for an ear. Curve it in, and then do the same thing on that side. Perfect. OK, so that's the neck. We're going to put the mane on, OK? So I'm going to go right on the middle of that ear that I just drew. So right there, Brady, okay? 
I'm going to make a nice curved line that's going to follow that line down and hit just on the outside of where the tail would be. Watch, watch me do it. I'm staying pretty equidistant. You're going to go right about to there. Perfect. Excellent. Looks real, real, it doesn't look much like a head yet, but it's going to about to be. Now right here is where the a peak of the other ear would come up if you were to imagine. So right there, I'm gonna put a little ear, like another circle right there. Yours would be a little bit bigger, good. And don't worry if you mess up with Sharpie because you're gonna turn it into stripes anyways. All right, let's just put a quick head on and then we'll be ready for our stripes. So you're gonna go right about here on that front ear, the ear that's closest to us, right where you made that tick mark, so right about there. And you're gonna draw just a little tiny diagonal line that's gonna go down. There you go, perfect. And then you're gonna make just a bump out, like that, just a tiny little bump out. Good, that's kind of where the eyeball's gonna be. And then I'm gonna go about the same distance that I did here, down, keep going down for the rest of the head. Ready, right about there, perfect. Now I'm gonna curve it here, I'm not gonna point it, I'm gonna curve it down and kinda at a diagonal. Good. And then we're gonna connect it to the neck. So I'm gonna curve it again and hit the neck. Yeah, and you're gonna go right about, perfect, just exactly there. Okay, so right where that bump is, is where the one eye that we can actually see is, okay? So it's gonna be like an almond shape, if you can see it. So you're gonna do, so you, I like to go around that curve again, and then I'm gonna come in, make a diagonal line. And then keep going, perfect, ready to keep going. Almost like this. Don't worry about that line that you just did. And then do that same curve, but opposite, down below. Oh, I've got a giant eye, but that's okay. Whoa, Addie, yours is really good. Yeah. <laughs> I think yours might be better than mine is. Way to go! <laughs> okay, so with your Sharpie, you're gonna color in that eye. I like to leave a little white, if you can tell. It's my finished one that I did, but it's okay. Make that And then we're gonna sharpie in some stripes for our zebra, right? We're gonna sharpie in, um, you can make any design sh uh, stripes that you want. The only one that I would really do is make sure on the mane, you wanna follow that mane down. So I, I just took my black sharpie, and started from the neck, and did fast line up towards the It goes outside the lines, up. If you if you want to get nitpicky about it, you can kind of like put where the nostril would be, right? And like so, you kind of keep it if you want. It's up to you. And then yeah, let's let's put some stripes on. You can put curved lines around the eyes if you want. I like to do um, lots of Y's. When I make them. Just do them nice and thick. I did a pattern around the legs. The legs are pretty cool, right? Oh, you did good. Don't forget to go do all, bring it all the way out, right? All the way out. And then the, the tail you kind of would cover in a little bit. If you want. Yeah, you can. So once you've finished um, the stripe, whatever kind of stripes you want, you can put lightning bolts or whatever you want. You can put patterns and stuff too on it. Did you want to put any on the face or no? No. No. Okay. No worries. So the next thing we're going to do is, and uh, when it's dry, 
You can always go back over it with another black marker to make the stripes come out a little bit more. That's what you want. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a paintbrush and we're gonna add just water to our zebra, okay? And you can go right on over the black line because if it's Sharpie permanent, then it's not gonna bleed. Now Addie has decided that she wants to keep hers out the zebra, just black and white, and she's gonna do the reverse of what we're doing. She's gonna paint the background and keep her zebra. This is gonna be super cool. I'm very excited. So with a pretty fluffy paintbrush, I'm gonna add my water. Right? And I'm just gonna wet my page. And I'm only wetting the parts where I want there to be color. Right? You wanna right, if you're just painting the zebra, you're just gonna be wetting the zebra part. Now you may have to go back at some point and add some more water because it will dry fast if you're using the paper. But that's fine. And you can make your zebra any colors you want. You don't have to do like the rainbow one that I did. Um, you can just choose you know, maybe you just want to do warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. Or maybe you want to do the cool colors, blue and green and purple. Or you just want to make them a hot spot of everything. Just go for it. So, Brady, do you know what colors you're going to do your zebra? You're going to go for it? Yeah. All right. Here we are. It's going to be a surprise. And you're just going to dab the color on. You don't need to put a lot because you want it to kind of just let the water that you already put on take a while. Please. Can you So I'm just pressing down lightly. Are you pressing down lightly? Mm -hmm. Like barely pressing. See, I just go whoop and it bleeds. Whoop. today that it dried almost instantly and then we went back around it with a sharpie just to like redefine some of our marker lines and then I decided to actually splatter some of my watercolor paint on my background so I just kind of took a really wet brush and went into the colors I wanted and let them drip kind of fun I think I might if I did it again I might do like warm color drop and a cool color zebra or reverse kind of show the difference and then Brady just kept his um, white, but I accidentally dropped a couple on his, I'm sorry. So after your art, of course, you have to I sign, it. sign it, just like Brady did. Wherever you think your signature should go, I like to sign it. Sign it like that, sign it, sign your art, and it's so good. And um, enjoy. Pretty fun, easy art lesson, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Stay safe and healthy.